the server, at least, you don't already know anything be server now. Like when you call, talk of a server, a server most of times, although it's not always, but most of times it's a physical computer that is somewhere else. But the difference is that this time around yeah. is a computer without a screen. So also, if you are dealing with servers, all servers have an IP. And it's through that IP that because if if servers don't have IP, you won't be able to connect to them from your computer. So now look at what they say here. They say transfer a file to your server, right? So they say write a bash script that transfers a file from our yeah. client to a server. So now when you talk about client and a server, you making the request is a client. Why the place? That is stored yeah. or so ever you are requesting that you're expecting a response from is the server. So so now they say requirements accept four parameters. One, the part of the file to be transferred. Two, the IP of the server we want to transfer the file to. Three, the username S SCP connects to. Four, the path to the SSH private key that SCP uses. So display usage this zero transfer file part to file ip username part to ssh key if less than three parameters passed so what they are telling us here is that if what is passed is less than three parameters this should be displayed then they now say scp must transfer the file to the user home directory so let's do man scp so let's see what it is now look at the what they say scp is they say open ssh secure file copy secure file copy so now they say scp copies files between hosts on a network are you seeing it so it uses ssh for data transfer yes. and uses the same authentication and provide the same security as a login session now what did he say he says write a bash script that transfers a file from a client to a server so of course after this one they always recommend that the next line should be your comment so comments we can put trans scripts transfers a file from client to server so that's our comment now look at what they say i said what forward parameters right oh, parameters yeah so yes now look at this one one the path to the file to be transferred to the ip three the username the path the next you see what they say display this if less than what three parameters passed so it means that's what we even need to check okay now normal normal in our bash script right to check for the number of arguments yeah. You use dollar hash. You get okay. Yes. Yes. Now, how do we know? Let's let's uh, test. Let's test the file, right? Let's let's use this file to test. So let's say um, okay. echo dollar hash right now let's make it as you think okay. ch mode plus x and let's make this one test now let's do this one let's run it together with arguments let's say elijah gideon Mansure. now what do you see you see three, okay. right? Yes. Now, okay, if you okay. reduce it to just Elijah and Gideon, see what did he say? Two. Two. Oh, I will reduce okay. it. What do we have? One. One. I will remove the Elijah. What do we have? Or Zero. You understand? Zero. Mm -hmm. One. Oh. Doing it like this. You understand? All right. In building any big thing, you actually start small. So that's why I'm going to, normally this is how I attempt ALX task. 
I test things individually before now bringing them together so that I'll be sure of what is happening. So now we can say arguments, acts. That's like it's more like we are trying to say number of arguments, right? Now we, we know that it's dollar hash, it will give us a number of arguments. Now the next yeah. is for us to check if, right? Remember, we are now storing this variable inside this ax. So for us to call ax now, we can say if dollar, right? Ax. Okay. You understand? Why we are attaching this dollar is that yeah. if you don't attach this dollar, right? It will just be as though the ax is a string. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. That's so true. attaching this dollar now, it will now go and fetch. It will now know that okay, ax here is no is no longer a string but a variable. Then to go and check where is ax oh, variable. Okay. It will now see that ax is actually the number of arguments. You get? Oh, come on. So, okay, boss. So now, if ax now look at what they say. If it is what less than what three. So if ax is less than. You remember less than LT? Yes, yes. Good. LT, yeah. If it's less than three, then do what? Then echo. Then. Now, then, say, if I be not. Let me confirm. You guys used to forget. <laughs> so, using okay. if in bash scripting. So anything you forget, always like search for it. Oh. Me, I don't used to bother myself cramming okay. some of these things. Because I know that once I want to do them, I know what to do. You understand? Uh -huh. okay. So you see the then. So we actually correct. Semicolon, then then. So the then can either be on the same line or on the next line. It's still the same thing. So we, we are even still on point. Okay. Uh -huh. So then... Now, why I use tab here is so that we we'll differentiate. I'll know that, okay, what I want to enter next is under this one. You get? So, okay. I'll just copy this one. Then, echo. Of course, you know, to print out using your bash is echo. Okay. Right? Now. Yes, boss. This is now we have met this condition. Else. Right? So this else now is trying to say yes. Let's let's even confirm. Is that how to use else? Yes, that's how to use else. So, so um. So it, now what we are trying to say that it means that if this x is not less than three, so it means it's greater than three, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Greater yeah, than exactly. Three starts from four. Do you get? Yes, 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 yes. So if yes, it's boss. greater than three, now look at all the things we need here. The path to five, right? So we can declare an argument and say path to five, isn't it? Now let's look closely. Which position is the path to five situated in? You see, this is the path to file here. Yes. So it's yes, 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 the yes. test position. Oh, okay. Right? So to assess the first position yes. Yes, is yes. dollar one, like this. One. Exactly. exactly. Yes. So the next one, they say what? IP of the server. So IP. server right so if you check at what position yes. is the ip of the server is occupying the second position so we we'll put dollar two exactly. then the next one is the what is the server name the name of the server yeah. you understand so yeah exactly yes name or let's username. let's say user name right Yes. So this word is occupying the third position, dollar three. Then, exactly. The last one is what? 
is the path to our world private key right so private yeah so we yes. can see private key and that one is occupying position of the fourth position right so let's see yes. now okay yes. what did they now ask us to do now of course the next thing we want to do is to execute our command isn't it yes yes so to execute our command now here remember our research they say is what scp right flag i yes then pass to private key now where is our private key what's the position of our private key the fourth position right and we have actually Export. stored it if i tell you we it right key so the first one coming in okay. is our private key so we we'll use dollar <coughs> you get dollar try okay key the next one after okay. the part to private key is what name of what file which is what the same More thing file. Is is file so in fact here instead of this long name let's just call it part of file part right so the next one follows is what? Yeah. file part isn't it then the next one name of what file okay which is this yes of course then username then at ip now what's our username this is our username so username usr underscore name then they say at what at then the next one our ip so what do we use as our ip ip yes ip server right but here we can just use ip so yes it's short okay ip right and boss you can just check you can just use the number now instead right you yes. can use like dollar one sort of yes. right yeah five parts username yes. uh, exactly okay so instead of all these ones we are entering you can enter the numbers directly you understand all right mm -hmm. so then this one it was then your slash now this one is actually the where we are sending it to on the on our server so of course here let's here say we should send it to oh. home directory so what that's why we, what we are having here is the home directory oh. you understand okay now to end yes so our script we use fi because you always end if with v yes exactly yes so exactly. now so let's see first of all we need to make it to to be this thing to be executable right so the next thing is a uh, yes we need to now of course here we don't have any file here ls right we don't have any file here so of course we can create a file let's say touch elijah dot txt uh okay. anyone i wanted to put txt i put it txt <laughs> anyone sha? so now how do we use it okay. slash dot hmm? i say slash dot uh dot slash what zero transfer file right the name of exactly. what we are transferring now in this case the name of what we are transferring is elijah right then next according yes. to here next is our what ip which is this this is my ip the next is our what the username of our ip this is my the username of my ip then the next is what the the distinct location of my key my yeah. private key this is the location of my private yes. key. so i'm going to enter okay good now if you do it properly it will give you a return value of what you sent to the host 100 percent simply means it is completed yeah. why you are seeing this 0.0, .0 kilobytes is because that file is actually empty okay now let's create another file 
let's call it yes. let's call it elijah dot txt and then inside let's say i love software in engineering i am presently a student of elx right so now let's transfer All this right. one now and see what we are going to have so elijah dot txt so did you see here it specified the size you see that the size is 0 0.3 kilobytes yes. you get it this one is actually how long it took to yes. transfer the file so now let me log into my server and confirm if it has actually uh, entered good i'm in my server so let me ls now you can see do you see the file Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. okay. So, but the thing is that when doing this task, at this point, none of us have actually uh, configured our server yet. So, there's no how you can even run the code. Do you get? Because this is actually okay. the server configuration. Okay, let me see. Okay, actually, we have uh, we have configured our servers already. Sorry, I was thinking it's SSH task. We have configured our okay. servers already. So, do you get it? Yes, boss. I understand this. I, I, I understand yeah. it's very well. So, now, the next one is to install NGINX web server. So, you know, just like what I was telling you, that your web server is actually a software, right? Yes. Good. Your web server is actually a software. And then, your a software installed on your normal uh, uh, server itself so let's see what is this all about they say requirement install ng okay web servers are pieces of software you see it generating and serving html pages let's install one so requirement install nginx on your web zero one this is the web zero one the one they gave us this one this number okay. is your student id so it means this is my student ID. Why this one is your web? Web one. So all right. Server okay. nginx should be listening on port eighty. When querying nginx at its root, with a get request that's requesting a page using coil, it must return a page that contains the string "Hello World." As an answer file, write a bash script that okay. calls a new Ubuntu machine to respect above requirement. So. It means that this task, right? First, the task is for you to okay. configure your server. Do you get? First. Yes. Then, after configuring your server, based on how you configured your server, you should now write a script that can be used to configure another different server. Do you get it? Okay. I don't know if you okay, get boss. it. Yes, I, I guess it was. Good. So, now, first of all, let's even check. How do we install NGINX? Right? Let me go to my server. Although I've already installed NGINX, but let's see the step by step. Now, ALX gave us another resources. I can do it off head, but just like I say, it's better to always walk people through how you are able to do it instead of just doing it is that uh -huh. so by that they'll know that it's not magic they'll know that there's actually nothing there even though if i just start yeah. doing it to be thinking ah this guy i did one it's a bill this guy good don't know <laughs> it's what anybody can do true so that's why i prefer to walk people through the ways or methods i use in getting to find out how to make use of all these things so now this is actually what helped me one of the materials they give us how to set up nginx server blocks so you see this one they were actually talking about server blocks that's what that guy was saying yesterday but in this case what they oh. ask us to is what how to install what look at it install what NGS. so NGS. the reason why so many people lose yes. out is because they actually just read this 
Whereas this is not even what you need. This is actually what you need. Look at it. Look at it. Are you seeing it? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, now let's go there. Now you see, NGINX is one of the all these are story, story, story. So you see to install it, do you see the first uh, process they took? Sudo apps get what? Update. Sudo apps get install what? NGI NX. So now let me open my notebook because one thing about automation is that automation is not different from you doing it manually. Automation is just you putting it in a script in such a way you can run it automatically. So it means the first thing we need to do is to sudo apt get update. The next thing, sudo apt okay. get install nginx, right? So let's see. After this one, look how they say, adjust the what? The firewall. Before we can test nginx, we need to reconfigure our firewall software to allow access to the what? Service. Nginx register itself as a service with what? Okay. UFW. Now, the meaning of this UFW is on something something firewall. F is fire, W is wall. U is okay. You understand? So, let's see. We can okay. list the application's configuration that UFW knows how to work uh, with by typing this. So, this one is not even part of setting it up. This one is just for you to know all the things that are available for you to work with under UFW. Oh, okay. You understand? Okay, so, boss. Yes. this UFW yes. is not part of your NGINXO. This is part of your Linux system. Okay. You understand? That's why, you know, this is not my server, right? Yes. Yes. You know, this is my machine. This is not my server. Yes, 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 yes. But exactly. Can still no server. UFW. Are you seeing it? So, if I now say sudo UFW app list. So, are you seeing it? So, UFW is part okay. of your yes. Ubuntu. Is the firewall part of your fire Ubuntu firewall? So what they are trying to say is here is that the mm -hmm. NGINX once you install it, it will go and attach itself to this UFW. So here you can see that I only have the open SSH option. Why? Because on my normal uh, on my normal system, I've not installed NGINX. The NGINX I installed was on my server. So that's oh, why if I come to my server and do sudo ufw app list look at what happens so you see it's listed all of nginx why because nginx is installed on my server okay exactly good so you see the next thing they say that we should it is recommended that you enable the most restrict restrictive profile that will still allow the traffic you have configured since we haven't configured ssl for our server yet in this guide we will only need to allow traffic on port 80. So now, if you look at this one, we have one, two, and three. This full is to set it for both HTTP and HTTPS. This HTTP is what represents port 80. Why this HTTPS represents 80, exactly. 443? You understand? Look at it. NGI okay. HTTP opens only port 80. This one opens port 443. If you do full, it opens for both of them. Oh, now, if you look at what ALX told us, what did they say? NGIS should be listening on port what? 80. 80. So okay. what does that tell you? Nice. It means that we have to run this command to so that UFW, the firewall, we allow it to run at port 80. You understand? So the next 80. command is what? sudo UFW allow inside quotation it has single or double quote n g i n x now this one is from this place this is it at port 80 so you just you can just copy it and then come here and paste it do you get okay so this one you don't need this one this one is just for you to confirm whether the command you have entered has worked or not do you get 
Sim. So now, for for instance, this one now, if you check, if I do sudo ufw status, you can see it has allowed. This one is allowed. This one is allowed. This one is allowed, and this one is allowed. If you check this one, they are of two types. This one is for IP4 version 4. This one is for IP version 6. This one for IP version 4, and this one for IP version 6. You get it right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. So now the next thing, what did they say? Check your what? Web server. Are you getting me? But in this case now okay, yeah, okay. since what we are doing is to set up our server in light of this right we are not we don't actually need yes this. we don't need this in this case but we'll still run it you yeah. understand we'll still run it now okay back to this let's say this is a fresh server we have not set up anything now we need to follow this guide to be able to set it up what did the first thing says? Okay. It says what? We should first run sudo apt get update. Update, yes. Update first. Right. Yes. Good. Now the next one, sudo apt get install nginx already have installed it uh -huh. so then the next one sudo ufw allow n nginx http okay i seen it why is showing skipping adding skipping addings because i've already added it oh, okay yes yes so now all these ones just like i said we don't really need it this one just like i said just for you to check and instead of alx say we shouldn't use system ctl if you check the requirements look at you can't use system ctl so now there are two other alternatives to system ctl you either make use of the one they call sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash name of service. What is the name of the service you want to check for? Nginx. Then status. Now, either you use this command, right? Now, every service, are you getting me? Every service that is being initialized on your Linux falls under this one this so it's located why you see i had to put etc is because it's actually located under your etc folder okay so once you do etc you need the d then name of the service then is it start you want to start is it stop is it the status you want to check so either you do this or you do this i think this one is even much better sudo service then what you want to check for ng inx the name of the service then what what are we want what do you want to check we want to check the status so status so i see that we we got the same result i see it exactly uh -huh. so yes boy. good so now now we have fulfilled this first requirement right we have also fulfilled the second yes. requirement right right yes. now the issue yes boss yes. the issue here is that we have not fulfilled this next requirement now you see they say when querying nginx at its root that's at this root with a get request that's requesting a page using coil it must return a what page that contains the string word hello world so hello let's world check. let's use the coil coil nginx and see could not resolve host nginx um okay coil i'm coming home page okay uh -uh. 
what is happening oh am i okay. not doing it properly okay it's possible now before this one we come to this if you observe there's one thing they they pointed out here i think it's at the beginning look at look at what they pointed out and to modify what nginx configuration file so this is where nginx configuration file is right so okay now your nginx has two positions it has the position of var and it has the position of etc now the position of var is the configuration of the nginx configuration simply means if you want to set anything up the configuration why the that okay. of var is to set up anything that is going to return to you as a page you understand okay, var. okay. so that brings us okay. to this one you know this is the one elx the link elx put up but you see that we have to start with this how yeah. to even install it good so now let's get back to yes, this yes. one is this one that will not show us because look at what they say they say a page that contains the string word hello world by default nginx right yeah. it doesn't display uh, yes hello world this is what it displays by default you get and how do we get it okay welcome to okay. of this is how you can get it you have to run this command here okay ah i copy this thing the uh -huh. so do you know why is doing this way is because i've already linked it to my ip okay you see it's returning okay. the ip of my server you understand yes so now let me see yes what they say okay so let's when you have your okay 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 good so if i enter in my web uh in my address right this one nice to know your ip ip of your server so if you enter it http yes. you make sure you use http not https even though it will not work okay you understand so what do you see okay, boss. Okay. Well, hello world hello world now wow it's because i've okay. changed okay. why is showing hello world is because i've changed my own already you know it's my server that i've been working with okay. yes uh -huh. normally this is what is supposed to show. You. you understand this is what is supposed to show normally but you see that it's showing this because i've changed it so now this one this link alx put for us is the one that will now show you how to change what is being displayed by default so let's go go to it. Okay. how to set up nginx server block so this is what the other guy was talking about in the tutorial yesterday right so look at it okay. it says when using nginx web server server blocks similar to virtual hosting apache can be used to encapsulate configuration details all these are just story 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 don't mind them okay. so let's look at setting up new document root directories right by default nginx on this has one server block enabled i seen it it is configured what okay, to boss. serve what documents out of a what out of directory a what? directory at, at what slash var okay. slash www Va. slash what HT html what? html Do you HTML. Get? yeah good yes boss so now it means that let's trace this part here let's trace it so if we do cd slash var you see that we are inside var under var they say what www yes. cd www w you can see the www here now okay. under www you see what do you see html so by default right exactly what your nginx display is under this html this one is actually another server block i created to test you understand okay. now if i enter this one yes then uh, elohim 
Benelloin Benehop.com. See what ha happens. Nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's nothing. Yeah, nothing. Okay. I don't know why the thing did not work, sure. So, but this is it. Do you get? This is how to set it. Now, let's go back to what okay. this one is saying. Now, he said, while this works well for a single site page, we need additional directories if we are going to serve multiple sites. So, we are not yet, uh, we have not yet come to this one. So, he said, this directly is the default okay. directory that will be served. Now, let's check what is even inside this HTML. CDHTML. Now, what do you see? You see that we have this file, we have this second file, and we have what? This third file right that's fine uh -huh. so yes. by default you have either this or this if you have this it will first of all check this before coming to this but if you don't have this it will come directly to this you understand and how do we know okay. we we'll still get to that uh, part you remember what i told you i told you that we have two aspects of the ngix we have the var and we have the etc right Yes. The, we say the var is what um, is being displayed, the content. Why the etc is actually yes. the configuration, the yes. settings. Oh, okay. Good. So now let me show you something. This is actually why some people are having the correct code in their script, but yet it's not running. Okay. okay. So, before we even change, uh -huh. attempt to change what is inside this one. Now, let me cut it. Cut index so that we'll see what is inside. Look at me. Index.html. Now, what do you see? What is inside? Hello, world. Hello, world. Now, before we can be able to even put anything inside of this index.html, right? We have to first... Okay create an ownership we have to first own it because remember you actually log in into the server you understand so this <coughs> before yes. this, you see this part slash var slash www you need to first own it using ch own flag r flag flag r why they use flag r here is that everything under the ww dot should be giving ownership this old user should be giving ownership so why you see the use user here and not your own the name maybe you see here now me the, my user here is ubuntu right yes but why you put user here is because of now let me show you something good now you see this user now is an environment variable are you seeing it yes so once they put user here yeah, yes, once you run it on this my server it's going to replace it with the real okay. user which is what my own my son name do you get yeah. or server now good yeah, now, yes boss you know this one is my own local computer it's not my server yes so let's check and let's see my username now what do you see what is the user here what do you see is the user here user background background so imagine that i yes. now specify that user instead of putting user here and i went and specify using this one where is it safe ubuntu and i'm coming to run the code here will it work on this my background no 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 it won't no it won't you understand so that's why you need to use the environment oh, yeah yeah which is user so by itself it will check what is user okay in this environment or oh, user is vagrant it will replace it with vagrant okay, when it comes yeah. to this place it will check ah what okay. is user okay user yes ubuntu it will not replace it with ubuntu by itself okay you get okay. so, yes. so now before we can even make change to this html file we need to first execute this command and then we need to now come here and execute this command this command is to own it because without owning it you can't actually make any change even if you make change it will not affect and without okay and this one is to grant it permission you know what seven means seven five five you know this is read 
right and execute. Right. Right. Uh -huh. You understand? You, you, so in, okay. this, in our script, the first thing, the next thing we need is the first command sudo cho flat capital letter r dollar capital letter user okay. column capital letter dollar capital letter user slash var slash ww dot w you can stop here you understand now this just like i tell you this flat app we help you own everything under this directory okay. so you don't need to specify this slash html just leave it here any other thing on that so far this one is always under ww you always have ownership of it you understand why you see, okay. you see they have to execute the yeah. command two times here why one they were using it for their example.com file the second one they were using it for their test.com file but by doing it this way it covers for any other thing okay mm -hmm. then the next thing you see this command to own it so ah uh, see me uh -huh. you get so now here they are talking about creating a page but we in this case alx did not say we should create page you get okay okay do you get sorry again can you what, what did you say now okay now we see in this, case, back, in this case what they are doing here is to yeah. create a page another page yes apart from this one that is existing already by default so, this okay. index.html where is it this one yes. apart from this one that is existing right yes uh -huh. but we now they say that by default from let me go back to your LX. you see they say when querying nginx at its root with a get request using coil it must return a page that contains the string hello world hello world okay you get it so now how do we make changes to our default file which is this index.html first of all we need to write hello world inside of this now how do we write hello world inside of this now it means that coming to this one to write hello world we can do it in different ways we can use echo we can use cat right so if we are using echo we can say echo hello world right and then we input it into we uh, what slash var slash www slash html slash the name of the file we want to put it in index dot html we'll go var slash hmm? sorry slash var cd ww now cd html then what we have index dot html right so now if yes. one modify the file that's one change waiting day inside the file you get you don't say okay. now if you cut no okay. cut down mostly waiting the inside all right waiting the inside you see hello world waiting hello world right hello world uh -huh. now move yes. print working directory now where this file they inside it they inside slash var slash www slash html you understand so for we to modify the file yeah. it will be yeah. slash var slash ww dot slash html then the name of the file follow mm -hmm. so these are more like the full parts oh. you understand okay uh -huh. so okay so now since the one test time right instead of hello world more yeah. use goodbye world since we go run for the server 
Okay. You understand? So now, you feel use this one. All right. Yes. You feel use this one, this command. And they get another command where people too, they use one popular command. They say, okay. Z echo something something T. Okay. Okay, yes. I think, Abby? Yes. Is the echo goodbye world? Right? Then do pipe am into T. Then this T, they go use sudo for am. T. Then okay. this, the full path to the directory. Okay. Now, the advantage of this first command over this second command, we say, like this, this first command, right? This one will only work if this file they exist. You understand? Yeah, boss. I with you. Uh -huh. But this one, even if the file know they exist, this command, this T, go create the file by itself. Then you go can store waiting day here inside. So if you want to use this command for you to, okay. be, to be extra sure, you need to create this file. You understand? And how you go to create okay. the file? You go do touch. Okay. Yes, you go do touch. Then this. You get <laughs> Okay, yes, so, boss. Yes. So to use this command so, to be on the okay. server side, first run this one. Okay, you to, to, to touch now. Uh -huh. To okay. create the file before you come put the content inside the file. But you to use this one, this one is more like cover okay. for both this and this. Okay. The shit word. <laughs> See this one. Okay, boss. Yes, I get. <laughs> this guy for you. See, make a help and make instant transfer of 100k. Me, even, even one key I never see. People just be funny for this life. They go see <laughs> the, up, the upload status, they go to say get money. Everybody, they own yourself. Oh. All right. So, are you here? Yeah, boss, I'll do with you. All right. Uh, so, let me see. Hmm. All right. So, so which one we could use inside the two? I think that one with a straightforward. Okay. So, the two of them make sense. Okay. Okay. So, now. Just one line code. Say, you see, say this one now, where we do. Don't solve this issue. Yeah. You see, they say when querying this, 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 it should contain the string hello world. So, this is a don't save, you don't. Okay. You understand? So, they now say, yes. as an answer, as an answer yeah. file, write a bash script that configures a new Ubuntu to respect above requirements. Now, you see this one. Okay. Once we make this change, Right, the change All right. no go down the applicable, you no go they applied. Why? Because already our service do already they run with the initial content of the page. Okay, you understand? So, so now what do we need to do yes, well, now to restart it them so that it go come restart so that the NGINS will start again with this new thing where we implement. So now I here at the end of everything we then do. See what then talk. Okay, now you see what in then do. They go create server block. You understand? Then they go create server block. Okay. So in this case, we we no need to create server block block. And this is the reason why this is the reason why we don't need to create a server block. Now why? Let's go to the configuration of the our nginx. We go the configuration now. CD, I tell you, anything configuration day inside the etc folder. You understand? 
slash etc ls now if you check your sister will get nginx yes you see, on, you see on here nginx so cd nginx more check now this is the settings of the nginx nginx.gov you understand but it's not advisable to make direct edit to this file you understand if you want to make edit is either you make edit to site dot available or site dash enabled yes you understand now any change you make to this it will automatically okay. reflect for you because two of them they linked okay yes you understand uh -huh. two of them they linked but to be on the safer side always make changes to this okay. most especially changes where you want to make it start the work immediately make them to this site enabled now this site enabled actually they included for inside this configuration so anything where you they do inside here okay. go they okay. included here so if you open this file here more open up more cut into the file may see it at the talk now if you check under this uh siam under the oh. nginx and under you will see this one http okay. you understand you now under this http if you check you see where they put okay. include okay, yes look at include slash etc slash nginx slash what you see here sites enabled Able. You get mm -hmm. now this site okay. enabled. You see, after the site enabled, yeah. they put slash star. So, what did they try talk here? They say, yeah. Any yes. other thing where they inside site enabled, made them bring them inside this particular uh, area. Okay, so now move we'll enter the folder site enabled. So, cd sites enabled. So, what you see. You see default so by default this is actually what yeah, default will be shown right so move more cut the default yeah. mostly waiting the there. is it card for you and so okay now if you check under the cards right normal normal you know what right. you serve now html right yes so, yes now by default look am you see the settings you see say by default it they taking yes. index.html exactly you see amba uh -huh. so that's why we we no need come yeah. include them inside this file again Show you grab Okay. You grab at all. Okay, okay, yes. Good. Because you it already did here. Yes, boss. It already did here. Okay. If you yes. remember when we've been they do this that direction an error page, you know say we got to include them mm. for here. Yes, exactly. Now because by default those ones know they included. Yes. So we must include them for it to, to work. But for this one, our index.html file already they included. See them here. So you see what they tell you say either you use no. this or you use this. Because if you check, you know, see index.html, the next content we go pick now the one of this. Okay. You remember? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. So, so where 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 you even did? I bless say. I I think say the girl where we been seeing together. Eh, uh -huh, Siam. You see, say both of them they inside there. Index dot HTML and this. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So and you see inside the configuration. Where it is. Yes. And this configuration is going to be as if they run. 
Wetu usi nana. Eh, si anye. Usi amba. Yes. Uh -huh. So now, once it means that once we get this, the next thing now, if you check what in them do, after they include them for their main this, we already our index of HTML they included, so we no need to include anything there by default. They there. So see what in them do yes. next. Okay. See what in them do next. What you see? Enabling your what? Server blocks and what? Restart what? Server blocks. NGINX. Okay. You see? Okay. Um, so, you see what in them do? Yes. First, you go test your NGINX. So, yes. this it's testing is based on, now on top of your server, you go do one. This testing. You understand? So, you do sudo NGI. Let's say my server okay. don't. Don't they down? confirm. Okay, okay. So sudo ng i n x slash t mo check. So you see, once you okay. run up and you show you this, it means say your configuration, everything they work. Okay. You understand? Okay. And I wait you go always use the debug be that. Yes, that, boss. Uh -huh. So everything they okay. So the next thing what you see say then do okay. Then restart right. them. You get yes. So let me say here, yes, yes, yes. And that if was. you see they they use system CTL and um uh yes. ALX mono use system CTL. So it means say what you go do. We go use sudo service. You know say service too, they do the same work. NGI NX. Yes. Start. Okay. You understand? Yes, but I understand. Good. So you see this question here. This bash script mm. will give us waiting we want exactly here. You get? Okay. So you see what in the they they they, they talk of slash y now since you want automate the tax it means say you don't want any interruption you are made it in just run so in that case for this your update you go add flag y for this your install you go add flag y now why are you adding flag y remember you know say if you they update if you they install some packages you go they show you question whether you, yes or no yes so this, yes 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 this flag yes, y no, exactly. any question we go ask this flag why go handle them? You go give them the answer yes. Okay. So now why you say they attach them? You feel put them for this position. You feel oh. put them for this position too. That's after your app to get. You feel put after your app to get. Uh, you feel put them at the last, the ending. It go still have the same purpose. Oh. You understand? Oh. So now the next thing. Okay. Now to write our script. So yes, boss. Vim. I understand. You understand, ba? I understand. Uh -huh. USR slash Vim slash M bash. So now we'd already write the script here. So I'll just come copy. Questions about their character right, so we'll go put comments here. Auto meet the installation of NGI NX. Yes, yes, boss, I understand. Okay, so now we'll go save. Now, for this script, if you just submit them, you push them to your GitHub, check your check and no go check. Why? If you check what you then yeah. do, then first run them for their server first. So it means that we too, we have to run it on our server first. Mm. You understand? So now, what does that mean? Okay. It means we have to send the file to okay, our boss. server. You get? Okay. And before we yes. send them, we'll make them executable first. Because in our script, so we don't make executable. All right. Now to send them to our server, remember 
this our first file where we do we us send this other file where we need on top of our server to mm -hmm. our server how remember the name of the file where you are send right your IP address then your user server username and then what part to your private key you remember this one now? Wow, wow, okay. Yeah, this is this is why I was missing it. Uh -huh. But thank you very much. So you go enter. Now, if you enter now, more check. So you see say you don't send down hundred percent. See the file size. Okay. Yes, sir. Now more go back to our server. Remember now the yes. home page day. So more go back to our home page. You feel you C D to go back to your home page. Now, did you see the file? yes okay not there yeah, exactly good so you see the first thing they did was to run it why you see they redirected it to this that's why you see that they don't have any because by running the file just the file itself right see all this command yes will come out you understand so they redirected all this output okay. to somewhere you understand okay uh, so if we run yes, now yes, yes. with this, you go see say all this plenty right up will come out here. We no go see them. now. Check. You see say nothing show. You nothing show. Uh -huh. So me, I just run my script like that because I like how made they show me what they do. You understand, ba? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Now you see the next thing where they do. What did they do? They call the local host. Yes. So let's do the same. So what do you see, Elijah? Wow, goodbye world. You see, say I call changed local from host. Wow. Hello world to where? Uh, goodbye world. Now move goodbye world. Check. Mo go check, mo check our index file. Now what do you see? Okay, goodbye world. Wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Now if okay, I change them okay, back okay, okay. to hello world, yes. I will just change my script. I'll go back my script. Okay. Yeah. Then, then this goodbye change word. Your I will change them to hello world. Hello world. Okay. You understand? They are going to rerun my script again. All right. I understand, boss. You understand now, ba? Good. So yes, I understand. Now, move check again. What do you see? Hello world. Okay. 